families welcome back thank you so much for clicking on this video this video is about the young Burkina base that went to Geneva Switzerland to partake in robotic AI competition yes they got third and fifth but some of them are not happy because according to the news the young ones they said they have everything it takes for them to be first but anyway they will not give up 20 countries and they came third and fifth ghana was among the korea and the rest families please listen and i'll be back now let's head to geneva switzerland where bakinabe teams are participating in the robotics competition a contest focused on building and programming robots to accomplish specific tasks bringing together teams from about 20 countries in the end burkina faso's senior team took third place while Peace School Kids finished fifth. Let's take in the atmosphere of the competition with our special correspondent, Omu Sise. A robotics competition, AI for the common good, aimed at young people. Around 20 countries, including Burkina Faso, prepared for this international competition focused on designing robots capable of saving people during disasters related to climate change. Burkina Faso senior team stood out by securing an impressive third place behind South Korea and Brazil. It was a bittersweet podium finish for these young Burkinabe talents who had hoped to reach the very top. We had what it took to get first place there. Honestly, we had everything it took. No nation, absolutely no nation. I mean it. No nation was able to compete with us. Even during the matches, you could see it was us. We are following the team. We overcame every obstacle before properly eliminating our opponents. We really respected all the rules and everyone congratulated us for that. They said, yes, Burkina is very well organized, whether it's the announcer or the reported scores. All of them really agreed that we were truly unbeatable on that field. So we are really very disappointed. The disappointment was also palpable among the junior team, which finished in fifth place in the final ranking. A result that was certainly below the expectations, but still respectable given the number and high level of the teams in the competition. We came across a lot of teams, namely Ghana and India. We beat several teams. Well, I'm not discouraged. It's going to be okay. Aminata Zebo Sabane, present in Geneva for the World Summit on the Information Society, WSIS Plus 20, and the Artificial Intelligence for Social Good Summit, did not hide her pride in seeing her two teams represent Burkina Faso in such a high-level competition. This global event, dedicated to students aged 10 to 18, highlights the ability to design, build, and program robots capable of accomplishing complex missions. Wow, congratulations to them all. I'm so proud of that young man. When he was speaking, you can see the energy, the enthusiasm. Oh, yes. They will go far. This is the beginning of it. When you have a president who back you in anything, we we're talking about AI and the effect, the advantage and the disadvantage. You know, our African language is not all that they can translate properly because we are not involved. If we have young ones like this who can do something about it and many other things more, what is? They are working hard. And name those countries that are there and they beat them and they are still not satisfied. I know that these young ones are very, very serious. I will leave you here. Congratulations once again to the younger team and the junior team as well. You should not be discouraged. Where you go to is far. It's a place that many think Africans are brainless and they can't get there. So yes, congratulations, and you are lucky that your time, you have a president who will back you 100% to get you to wherever you want to go, even to the moon and back. So yes, be proud of yourself. Don't be discouraged. Next time you'll get the number one. I remember last year, Ghana has won something concerning this. If you know it, leave a comment. Let's read from you. I wasn't paying attention to that. I'm sorry about that. But when I saw this this morning, I thought, let me work on it, see what is going on, why the young man is not happy and happy. 
and this is what they have to share with us yes i will leave you your family thank you so so much for listening and watching credit to our tb news for so serving for sharing this with us and i'm sure they will get home safely to their parents and um yes the sky is the limit there will be more competitions that they will attend because we want to build a lot of things in africa we don't want to be buying everything from outside so yes bring it on see you so families thank you so so much please try and congratulate these young ones let their head be big <laughs> let their head be big we love them and uh, we support them 100 percent thank you so much for doing that my returning families my new ones those who are passing by my vips my kings and queens thank you so so much for your time and your support i'm so grateful for having you here without you i don't know what i'll be doing probably watching telly throughout the day and sleeping drinking tea and coffee yeah but then you keep me going so i'm so grateful thank you god bless you all families i've added another video to this one I decided to add it to this video because it's also about education how they are going to help the young ones who have just finished who have just finished their exams how they will help them internally externally and everything i will not waste your time i will let you watch it yourself and listen so yes i will say bye from now thank you for your time god bless you all in Burkina Faso, the National Information and Orientation Week begins tomorrow, designed to support new high school graduates in choosing their academic studies. This week will be held under the banner of the reforms undertaken in Burkina Faso for quality education. The press conference announcing the event with Bienvenue Tonsa. From July 14th to 19th, the SIAO will host the 10th edition of the National Post-Baccalaureate Information and Orientation Week, an initiative by the Ministry in Charge of Higher Education and its partners to provide new graduates, former students, parents and professionals with a space for information, discussion and guidance with the aim of better supporting them in their orientation choices. The SIAO serves um as a platform allowing participants to discover public universities and private higher education institutions in Burkina Faso and abroad, learn about academic programs and admission procedures for public universities and private higher education institutions in Burkina Faso and abroad, and get information on the requirements for obtaining a national scholarship for studies in Burkina Faso and abroad. And among the scheduled activities are conferences and debates focusing in particular on choosing academic programs, as well as the procedures for registration and re-registration on the Campus FASO platform. There will also be exhibitions and direct counseling and guidance sessions between participants and the specialists from the General Directorate of University Guidance and Scholarships. Public and private universities from Burkina Faso and abroad as well as related organizations wishing to reserve booths, I inform that the rates remain the same as those for CO 2024, namely 200,000 francs for public universities and other sponsoring organizations, 300,000 CFA francs for private universities and related organizations, and 600,000 CFA francs for foreign universities. The 2025 National Post-Baccalaureate Information and Orientation Week is being held under the theme Presidential Initiative for Quality Education for All, Rethinking University Orientation for Sustainable Employability.